So in this video, I wanted to show you how to you could resize the round ornaments, the round ball ornament boxes or bobble boxes, um, if you had a size that was different than the size we offer. So some of the common sizes are 3.125 inches, as you see here, um, and 4 inches. But I know there's some in-betweens and different size round balls, and I think we have a 2.5 too. But if you do have one of our boxes, you can try resizing it down. The only issue is going to be the inserts, um, but I'll explain how you can modify those as well a little bit. So before you start, when you get a one of our boxes or look to get one of our boxes on the product description screen, it'll tell you what the uh, finish size is, which right here is shown on the PDF file, um, and it'll tell you what it fits. So all these boxes have been tested with the size that's shown. But they not they will not necessarily work with all sizes. So if it's slightly smaller or slightly bigger, um, you may have to resize it a bit. So I'm going to show you this is in Cricut Design Space how to do that. So we check the size, and just let's just say let's go ahead and confirm the size of our ball. So a lot of the baubles or the ornaments um, are in millimeters. So if you go to Google, since everything I have is in inches. If you go to Google, you can go millimeter to inches, and it'll give you a conversion. And then you can type in, so we're going to use 80 as our example, which is a common size. And you'll want to mark down what this is. So I'm just going to round that up to 3.15 inches. So just make sure when you do the conversion, you write down what that size is. Okay. So again, you can just Google millimeter to inches and you can do this conversion. And you can do that with almost any thing, which is nice on Google these days. Then what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and close that. So you see, um, these are all the pieces. The PDF file shows you all the pieces that have to be resized. So we're going to bring in all these pieces all at once and then resize everything. So I do have a video on how to resize by percentage. It's not so easy in um, Cricut. Um, there's other software that just allow you to put the percentage, but Cricut Design Space has not added that feature yet. So we have to kind of work around that. So we're just going to go ahead. I'll just minimize that for now, just in case I need it. And I have, because I have a big enough screen, I have a new project up. And I'm going to upload the pieces. Now, normally I've just uploaded them. Um, myself before we start the video, but I felt it would be helpful in this situation to show you. So we're going to go ahead and click on Upload Image, and then I'm going to the SG, SVG files within the file, and I could use the, these are the dashed line versions. So I want the, uh, so I'm going to do a little preview here. So anything with the lines, I'm not going to bring in because I want the solid score lines. So these three I'm not bringing in yet. We're just going to bring these two first. We're going to do this, the lid panels. And I'm just going to take the default name, but you can name them any way you want. It's not fi this is not a video for specifically uploading things. And then these are the side panels. And then I'm going to go into the solid lines folder and go ahead and click on to upload these three. So the only difference is that these are solid line versions, so we can use this, the, um, we can't cut those because uh, we have to change them to score, but so we can use a score tool or a score, score wheel. Otherwise, if you didn't have a score tool or score wheel, you'd use the dash version so you could cut the dashes out. I don't like to miss anything, even though I know that video's, this video is not specifically on how to do that. We have other videos on that. Okay, so these are, if we go back to the PDF, you see there's one, two, three, these are the, the five files that you need. So we have everything. So we're going to come in here, and I'm just highlighting them all, or in, clicking them all, select them all, and hit say insert images. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And just really quick, we're going to go ahead and 
I'm holding the shift key while I select all the cut lines. It says cut lines, which are the score lines. And I'm going to upper left and changing them to score. And same thing with this one. I forgot one minute. I forgot to attach them yet. So score, but I want to make sure they're all scored first. Score. So you see they all look like dashed lines now. But I just have to make sure that I attach the score lines. Then attach on that one and attach on that. Okay, so now that we have all these, I'm kind of I'm gonna kind of overlap of them. And we're gonna go to a calculation first. So remember we said it was 3.15 inches is the is the 80 millimeter uh, ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring a calculator up. And we're gonna do a little calculation to get what percentage change that is. So it's gonna get smaller, so we need to know what percentage smaller it's gonna get. So I'm gonna go 3.15, the ball that we won, want, and divided it by the size that it was intended for, which is 3.25, and I go equals. And so this equivalates, after the dot, is the percentage. So if it were, let's say it was getting larger, you'd have a one here, and that would be 196, but anyways, it's 96.9, it's close enough, I'd go to three, 96.9%. So I'm writing that down. So basically what I have to do is resize it by 96.9%. So again, whenever you're doing percentages with a decimal point, you just move that decimal point over two times to the right, and then that'll give you your percentage. So I wrote that down. Oops, I still need a calculator. So in other applications, you can just put the percentage, so we're just gonna put that aside. So I'm gonna highlight everything. So you can you could go ahead and highlight it like this. So keep them together like this first and highlight them all. And then you're gonna note this number up here, the width. So 18.143. Okay, so again, you can, you can hit Control A or you can highlight them all at once and make sure they're all highlighted and you know you can look at the width size. Once you have the width size, go over to your handy dandy calculator and type in that width, 18.143 times 96.9% equals. So you see that that number, that's your new width. So we need to take this number, so it's 17.58 that we could just use it if it, you want to go all the way to three you can but it's you we don't need to be, be that uh, specific but that's the new width up here so make sure you see that lock so the lock has to be closed because when we change that number it'll proportionally change everything uh, at the same time so make sure everything's highlighted before you do it still and i'm going to go over here and i said let me make sure i have it here So we'll put it right there. 17.58. I'm going to hit tab. And then you'll see that everything is 17.58. So now what that does is it makes it the size of it is externally the, the size that you need it to be. Now the only issue you may have so it resizes everything. So if you go up or down, depending on how it is, going down probably not so much, but if you went up in size, just realize that those that bottom and top, um, you may not be able to have those bottom and top, the, they may not be the right size for your, your uh, ornament. So the top part, normally uh, the it's proportional, like most ornament tops have the same size. So you may have to ungroup it and slice a hole or the other, the really quick fix to this, if it's too small on the top for your, is just to take scissors and kind of cut it around the edge to make it expand so it'll, it'll fit around it. So if it does get too small, that's what you want to do. On the bottom, you should be okay on the bottom piece um, for the most part if you're not sizing it too differently. So I wouldn't re 
let's just say I wouldn't resize a four inch box down to this size. I would resize a 3.125. So I would take the box that's nearest to the size of the bobble or ornament box uh, ball that you have. So I hope that helps. And at this point, obviously, you just go ahead and uh, choose your papers and make it. And then you could go ahead and go page by page. So the other thing, just before I forget, since I'm in this video, um, when I, I'm going to un unattach this. If you wanted to save some paper, I'm going to detach this. These are grouped together, so you can ungroup them and then attach them separately. And this will help you put it on only two two mats. So when I go to make it, it should fit on two mats and you might even be able to get this one. Yeah, see sometimes the only thing about Cricut, sometimes Cricut um, puts separates by mats when there's plenty of room on the on another mat. So the nice thing is that they gave you an option now to move object and say I want to move it to this mat and you can see it'll fit on that mat if I just went there so that would save you um, a page if you're using 12 by 12 so just my little tip in addition to how to resize so for those that do buy our ornament boxes and do get a smaller or larger uh, ball than um, the box that I offer this method will work on any of them but round particularly because it's so proportional so I hope that helps a few and I thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please give me a little thumbs up below thank you